Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Carlos 957, and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So, I haven't like done a NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode in a while, so I've been busy with school, doing F1 2020 for you know since last August. So, so it's been exactly a month since I've gotten the game and. Just play F1 all day trying to figure out my the my team concept of it. So But as of NASCAR Heat 5, I'm already in season two already, so like if you saw my last video from F1 2020, I told you guys that you gotta respect my privacy because I'm busy with my nieces, especially babysitting them and me focus on school, meaning I'm in college and trying to get that bachelor's degree. So I don't want any distractions like, oh, you should spend more time on, you know, making YouTube videos. That's not the purpose of this video. So, like, I know I have Nepia Gaming, the Setup Man, you name it. Those two YouTubers that create car setups. For you guys in NASCAR Heat 5, you gotta thank him. So, so on to this video. So, so there's the stories of the race. And we'll move on and see where I start. Since I really didn't see it on the top right corner of the screen, 18th. So, yeah. I could have gone aggressive with the grill tape and the camper, but yeah. What I don't get is I already pre-recorded the season finale for season two for the Xfinity series, and I was puzzled because I actually won this race. Spoiler alert! <laughs> because of the way. Things played out with the caution, you know, <laughs> and then I just won the race magically, like that, you know. And you'll see a later in the video of how I got the win, and as the title says, I complete the Phoenix sweep, you know. Like, I was on rails, I was powering into the turns, like, Everybody was standing still, so. All I can say is, I know how to get around every single racetrack in the, in the game, and I just pray I don't buy this game again because it's copy and paste, copy and paste again. Kind of, you know. I've done it for five years, and I still get all these, oh, you've completed this game because of all these achievements in my game, so. So there I finished 14th in the state, stays on my line. I, I will uh, do some more recording and see if I recorded the end of the race.
so I'm back again, so this is about eight laps to go and almost the end of the race. And we'll just wait and see how I come from six starting spot. I basically restarted six or eight. I don't know, but yeah. I was really lucky the caution went out, came out. As I tried to pass Riley Herbst for position, and I passed him for four. Now I have Algaier and Annette side by side, and I'll just pass them like that. Yeah, and then my uh, points rival, Austin Cindric, is just driving away. And if I don't catch him, oh well, he just wins the race. Waiting, this is waiting to reel him in. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm praying that he just wiggles a little bit. Oh man, he brake checked. Huh. Yep. I might get side by side with him. I think I got him. Got him right here. So I'm gonna get the lead, and that's basically it. Yeah. Ooh, I'll see how many laps there are left. Five laps to go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to use that high lane to make sure I got my the leaders or the guy in second smaller in my rear view mirror. See Austin Cedric. What a breeze it is. Just I know I already pre recorded most of the races up to like Season three of NASCAR E5, but but for season three, I did some selected races, especially at Tri Seven One at in the game. But off camera, I did some race now events, so I get the achievement. You won at every speedway, speedway like intermediates, all that. That's the achievement I didn't get, but. But I did win in every short track, every super speedway, which is restrictor play to some, and in every road course race. But you never know. You just have to hang in there to make sure you get all those wins that you've always wanted. So, that's all I can say. So here I am, two laps to go. Over time, yep. Looks like I'm able to hold off Austin Cindric, you know, even though it's only two or one not to go. White flag lap. Here I go. Let's see the mini map from. Ooh, Justin Allgaier passed Austin Cindric for a second. Thank you, Justin. As you can tell, I'm going to win the race easily. And all it did was the break of the cautions. And you know the fall race, there was no cautions. And I'll show you the first half where I tried to pass on the Syndra, but the cautions didn't break out. And then there, I'll show you the second half where I put it in easy mode. And I just get the pole. Ran away from the field. I didn't want to do that, but I have to go on with my life and do F1 2020. And you know, yesterday they uh, released a new game. This is called Tony Stewart All American Racing. 
already installed it in my library for Xbox One, and hopefully it's a big break, you know. But I'll still be busy with school, and won't be playing that game for a while. Depending on how many races I can do first season, do 25% of race lamps. So there you have it. I'll see you guys. Well, do you think I should do cup or not? Yeah, I, I don't think I should do cup because I don't have the last lap footage of most of the races. So. I'll just stop there, so I'm AK Happy Card 57. If you want to go ahead and watch the rest of the, the cup, yeah. the cup race from Phoenix, uh, spring race, whatever it is, that's on the same video. Go ahead. So have a good day and peace out. Oh, no.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content, get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much, and if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So. I'm AK, happy Corona 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.